Hi creative friends, it's Elizabeth Sampson, the Doodle Nurse, and we are back this week with another tutorial. So if you didn't see last week's video on how to create a cute baby hedgehog, check the description out below and click the link to watch that. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends, Maya, Dylan, and Jake who graciously created that baby hedgehog and sent their drawings to me. I then placed their drawings upon my website at thedoodlenurse.com or elizabethsampson.com, whichever is easier for you to remember. You can also get that in the description box below. And I placed it on the wall of the YouTube art for my subscribers. So if you want to create today's drawing and you want to submit it to me, I will add it in to my website and it will be hanging there on the wall of art for my YouTube subscribers. Just check the link in the description box below if you want to submit your drawings. I'd love to have you. During this time when we are all stuck home on quarantine because of the COVID-19, take the opportunity to work with your kids and create beautiful art. Teach them there is no right and wrong when it comes to creating art. It's their opinion of what they see. This is a great teaching moment and a great thing to bring to the forefront. This is a great teaching moment for your kids. So take the opportunity to show them that they can draw. And while you're at it, join in with them because drawing is for anyone. There is so much healing that you receive when you draw and you bring yourself into the present moment. So I want to take the time with you today and we are going to create a raccoon, a raccoon, <laughs> a raccoon. <laughs> So I want you to grab your pencils and come on in and join me in creating this cute cartoon raccoon. I'd like to ask you to take the time to subscribe to my channel and to click the bell for notifications as I upload new videos every Monday. So guys, grab those supplies and jump right in. Um, when I first filmed this in my art journal, I obviously forgot to film the pencil portion of it, but that's okay. We just jumped right into the fine line marker. But what you can do is create a sketch using pencil first. And the reason why I do this is because I'd like to know where everything is going to land on the paper. Make sure everything fits accordingly and that I don't have any weird angles on anything that I'm drawing. So as you can see, the one arm overlaps the belly and I was able to ink that in knowing where the pencil lines were. So I make sure I pencil everything in. So I'm speeding this up for you so you don't have to go through the long process of watching the whole thing as I do it. But grab your pencils, make sure to use your erasers, they're your best friend, and jump in to create this little raccoon. If you're going to create this with me, and you would like to submit it to me, I will place it up on my website at elizabethsampson.com or thedoodlenurse.com, whichever it is that you can remember. It's easier for you to remember to type in. I created a page just for people that create with me here on YouTube, the same as I have a page for people that create with me over on Periscope when I do my live feeds, live streams over there. If you have young kids at home and they want to show their friends, their creations, while we're all under quarantine, this is a great way that they can show them by giving them the link to the channel. They will be able to see their drawings that I place upon my website. And you can show the grandparents as well. Since everybody's under quarantine, they want to see what the kids are up to and what they're doing and what they're learning. Why not learn how to create art? I've had so many people tell me they can't draw or they can't letter and that their handwriting is terrible and their drawing is terrible. And I want you to know that this is practice 
as with anything else, you have to practice. You just don't come out of the gate knowing how to draw. So this is a great opportunity to be able to break things down into simple shapes and create them. Now this is completing in uh, my art journal. This is the completed um, practice sketch I have in my art journal. And now I'm going to take this and I'm going to recreate it on watercolor paper. And again, of course, did I forget to do the pencil process and video it? Yes, I am learning how to video everything and I thought I had the camera turned on and apparently I did not. But you get the gist of it. I penciled it in and we're going to continue from the pencil part. There was a few areas in this video where you will see I forgot to turn the recorder on or I actually thought the recorder was on and recording when it wasn't. So there is a lot of missed fo footage here, but you can make sure that you stop. Um, when you get on a spot like this, you stop the video, you look at the drawing, you break it down into simple shapes, and you start creating it. So you have a lot of opportunities, like right now, you can stop the recording, look at the drawing, and look at the simple shapes and start to create your drawing based on that. Now, like I said, I did forget to turn the recorder on. I got myself erasing, but I didn't get myself doing the fine line marker, but you've already saw that in the previous portion on my sketch journal. And again, I start laying down the color pencils. This is the black color pencil, and I thought I had it recording and I and I caught it like halfway through. So, I use the colored pencils um, <clears throat> and I'm liking these watercolor pencils. So I use those on this drawing as well as the past few weeks on this channel. I've used it, the colored pencil, watercolor pencils on the drawings. So guys, make sure that you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and click all so that you're notified every time I put a new upload or upload a new video, I should say. And make sure to comment below and let me know what you think. And if you want to submit your drawing, by all means, follow the links below. And let me know what you want to see next on this channel. I'm going to be talking a little bit more about the healing aspects of art and how I used art um, to heal myself and the journey that I have taken in my life and how I've used art as a way of healing. And I think that will um, definitely interest people knowing that they can heal with art. I just got my watercolor paintbrushes ready. I filled them with the water and now I'm going to go over the colored pencils and um, turn them into paint. And this is the part I like about it because you can just lay down the color with the pencils and then just go over it with water. Now there is some, you know, you may have a little blot of water. Water comes through that chamber that I filled through the tip. And if you squeeze too hard, you will get a little bit too much water. So it does take a little bit of practice to use these. But once you learn how to use them, they're, they're a lot of fun. And sometimes you'll see me dipping in water or I'll go over to the water jug and I'll squeeze water through the pen, through the tip of the brush and wet it that way. And it seems um, to work really well. And there's different size uh, paint brushes. So I will definitely have that in the description box below if it's something that you think you would like to try. And so now I'm going over with the gray and I'm doing a little bit of shading here um, and putting the water down. And um, you can see I, I went a little heavy handed here, but that's okay, you know. It, there is, like I say, there is no right, there is no wrong. It's got to be pleasing to your eye um, is what it has to look like. And you don't have to use traditional colors. If this wanted to be pink and purple, it could. So you use any colors that you wish to draw your raccoon. Now, as you can see, the word raccoon is a little bit different than on my sketch journal. But that's where I change things up. 
And this is the process that I go through placing my drawings in a sketch journal. And when I want to recreate them again, I know if there's things that I did in the original that are not as pleasing to my eye as things that I could have done. And that's when I change them up when I recreate it. So you could place this on a card. You can um, do this as a wall hanging for your child's room. You can do this as a gift for a baby shower, whatever it is. This character is being placed in my digital program. I am working on that now, and he will be part of my coloring book series when that is when that comes out this year. And if you want to get notified of that, just go to my website and sign up for my uh, mailing list, and you will be notified when the coloring books will be released. So I hope you had fun doing this tutorial with me and this little raccoon. Take a screenshot of him so your kids can practice him. All the supplies I used are in the description box below. So guys, did you like creating that raccoon with me today? If you did, I would like you to put in the comment section below, submit your drawings to me over at thedoodlenurse.com or elizabethsampson.com, and I will hang them up on the YouTube wall of art. And make sure you join me next week.